massive first stage engines, five in all, generate seven action to make this trip in late December was dictated by three factors. The first two, a daylight launch and daylight landing, are scheduled in the interest of crew safety. The third is that in order to master the navigational techniques that have to be proven before others can safely follow, over 200 hours have been spent in simulators, observatories, and planetariums. These navigational techniques were proven to a considerable degree during the pioneering flight of Apollo 7, yet the upcoming flight will confront the Apollo 8 crew with even more navigational challenges. Star charts, sextant readings, and triangulation plottings have been the subject of the most extensive study since man began to fly. Uh, as lunar module pilot aboard Apollo 8. The mission will end. A mission designed to reap a vast harvest of knowledge on such things as deep space navigation, tracking and targeting accuracy, communications at lunar distances, lunar photography, and most important, the experience gained in going to and from the moon, a trip that will contribute greatly to the lunar landing mission scheduled for next year. Time in space than any other man, with a total of 425 hours and 9 seconds. He will be command module pilot for the mission. This is the kind of awesome power needed to reach the moon. The Apollo spacecraft, product of eight years of design, construction, testing, redesign, and more testing. The spacecraft proved itself worthy during its initial test flight of Apollo 7. Traveling more than 4.3 million miles in Earth orbit, the vehicle responded to each command in a manner that left no doubt in the minds of scientists, engineers, and Apollo crewmen that the craft is indeed capable of...